For this swoop ponytail, we will need black paper strips, large size rubber bands, an edge brush, a rat tail comb, black glue, a Lexus Lace ponytail mist, finishing gloss, and one pack of 12 inch hair. First, I am going to part at an angle, forming into a small oval shape to fit my client's head. Make sure your part is clean. Section off that part of hair with the clip to keep away from the rest. Now I'm going around the perimeter of the edges to get it as straight as possible before I start molding. Forming your ponytail, you want to take four to five rubber bands, combing and gripping directly into your hand, not too low on the neck. I'm going to take my Alexis Slay's ponytail mist and spray about four times directly onto the hair and smooth it out with my brush. Let's not forget our baby hairs. You want to lightly separate your baby hairs from the ponytail, not too many. Before you start to dry at a warm temperature, you want to brush the hair the exact way you're going to dry it and dry it with your fingers starting at the part and sliding your way to applying pressure so it can give the flat look. Start with one finger and the rest should follow. When you come back around, you are going to start working your way down. You want to have your client hold their ears just to assist you on laying every piece of hair. Remember to brush in the exact form you're going to dry it, working your way down.
come back around, you should be working your way down to a complete mold. When drying the back, you want to dry at a cool temperature to prevent it from turning white. After the first round, I'm going to cut the rubber bands out and put it right back into the same exact ponytail. Now take your spray and spray all around the ponytail and brush and dry. This high comb trick is something I do to give it that extra sleek look. After you spray and blow dry, you're going to go in with your finishing gloss. And there we have it, the most important step one. Now starting the swoop, you're going to make a part straight across from where the baby hair start at. This is where we're going to place our first track.
When placing your tracks, you want to make sure you end it exactly where the part ends. It has to be right before that line. When parting for the next track, you want to only use a very thin amount to go over your previous track. You don't want tracks all the way towards the back. The max number of tracks I use in a swoop is four, but since her hair is full, I'm only going to use three. Now I'm going to go through the top with my finishing gloss and go through it with my flat arms. Now I'm going to take my ponytail mitt, spray the top, smooth it out, and blow dry it to give it that flat look.
starting the soup, I go back to front, piece by piece. You want to make sure you blend the back right into the ponytail so it's flat and seamless. Always make sure the hair is laying exactly how you want it to lay when drying it. Make sure each section is dry before moving on to the next.
When you get to the back, you want to finish molding directly into the ponytail. Once it's all dry, you want to secure it into the ponytail with some more rubber bands. You're going to take two to three black strips to lock your soup in place. Now I'm going to show you how to get the perfect swoop knot and how I properly secure it from unraveling.
When doing the baby hairs, I first curl them so when I start swooping, they will fall in motion. We spray the spritz on the brush and style them as desired in a cool temperature. And there we have it, Alexis Slade's famous swoop ponytail.